Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Shamshir Sound video. Today we're going to be looking at my project for my track Carrera. And so this track is out on my other channel, Ali Nadem. You can check it out. It's a free download, no download gates. You can just download it directly. This one's got like a electro house, hard electro vibe. So if you haven't heard the track already, let me just skip to the drop so you can get in a, kind of a feel of what's going on. Today's video, I'm going to talk about how to really put emphasis on the drop and kind of the psychology approaching it. So we're kind of going to talk about some ideas, kind of like theory, how to make the drop bigger, more solid. And let's just play this back. So there's not a lot going on with the project muted. I'm going to just play back what we see here. So we have the kick, we have the bass. Um, the kick and the bass are at the forefront and in the background really is the just some effects, but not too much. So if I just mute the kick, just solo the kick and the bass. So this drop, you have the kick, you have the bass, the effects is really in the back, very quiet. So there's this kind of thing I have called chord and it's being side chained by the bass. So this chord always kind of goes down when the bass is playing back. You can see that in Fruity Balance. The uh, effects drop is very subtle. It's this breath that you hear, oh, that breath right before the drop, this sound. Sometimes this can work wonders because the bass is very dry, right? The bass is very dry. It's very mono. So the effects helps to really give ambience and give like this big trail. Sometimes it doesn't work, but sometimes if you put a big trail and what I did is I think I used endless smile at 100%. So this just makes it so wide such that you know the bass is just smacking your face and the reverb is just so wide, it sets a nice background so that in the foreground, the bass is just punching you in the face. And so one thing I really want to uh, present to you guys to take away the important thing is this notion of in, in user experience called featureitis. When we add things to a whatever it may be. When we, we're drawing something, we add features, we add more samples. Each time you guys add more samples to a, let's say a drop, you're also making a sacrifice. Each time you add a feature, you're sacrificing something. You're taking away from the foreground. So you have to be very careful with what you're adding. If I went ahead and added a whole lot of effects here, it would actually diminish the drop because it would make the drop less in focus and the other elements would start to muddy the waters and start to almost take away focus, take away listeners' attention from the bass. So that's really my takeaway from this is try to get creative with your side chain because I have a chord playing back this. Uh, let's play this. If I, if I play it without the side chain, check this out. but it's being heavily side-chained as to get out of the way of the bass. And I did this, um, I think with a couple of other tracks too. Get creative with your side-chain selection so you can really make the, the star of the show, which in this case is the bass. Really just in your face. So the key takeaways is experiment with side-chain. Um, less is more when it comes to drops like this because this really gave me this hard-hitting club solid vibe and um, I don't know I just kind of was thinking about Porsche this project actually started out as just uh, getting inspired by Benny Benassi um, it first started I was just playing around with a saw uh, with Surge 
So I made these sounds in Surge. You can check out my video on Surge. Surge is great. It's a free plugin. And uh, just was experimenting with it. And one thing led to another, messed around with modulations, and I just kind of liked the sound I went with. I did choose an appropriate kick, so make sure that the kick you're choosing is very decent and um, also focus on the sidechain. I did use LFO Tool to tailor the sidechain. I did a little bit more aggressive sidechain on this bass, um, but in this project, less is more. Uh, I made sure I didn't run my project time too long, so I think I spent about five hours... Um, five or six hours making the whole structure of the song and finishing everything. The remaining of time was probably spent mostly on the mastering. Uh, speaking on mastering, if you guys want to check that out. Um, <laughs> kind of really weird. I didn't actually start with Sound Godizer on this, but it sounds good with Sound Godizer on it. So uh, Sound Godizer, classic clipper. It's not doing much. It's just slamming the track. Oxford inflator at 4.1% curve all the way down just giving a little bit of like Raising that bottom end a little bit just to give a little inflate the sound literally and sausage fattener everything zero 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 uh, Track slams at about minus 70 uh, minus 70 minus 7 RMS and That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed these tips um, Less is more when it comes to making your drop impactful. So be careful when you're adding more samples, more adding more effects. There is a time and place to do it, but sometimes it'll just take away from the attention of the star of the show, which in this case is the kick in the bass. Because if we just solo just the kick in the bass, Those guys are the highlight of the show. Everything else is kind of getting out of the way of it. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video on how I made the bass a little bit more impactful. Um, and if you guys have any questions, if you guys want to see more of this project or more of other projects, let me know. Check out the second video I'm making about this project because I don't want to make the videos too long. I want to kind of make them, you know, digestible. Uh, the next video is going to be about improving your snare buildup, making it a little bit more excited, uh, using some strategies very simply just with velocity to add more groove and add more funk. So if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Really appreciate that. A lot of informative videos, I feel like they get occulted. Uh, a lot of times they, they don't get recommended. So when you guys hit the like button, it does a lot. I really appreciate your guys' support. If you guys aren't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button thinking about working on a sample pack to give you guys something in return as we approach uh, more subscribers. Maybe when we hit 5k, I'm going to drop uh, another sample pack as my thanks to you guys. In, uh, in the meantime, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.